Since its certification for civil aviation in 2011, EGNOS, the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service, has gone from strength to strength. EGNOS is a satellite-based augmentation system that improves GNSS positioning using three satellites and a network of more than 39 reference stations in 24 countries, providing much greater accuracy than achieved through GPS alone. Recently, EGNOS added a new service, LPV-200. Pilots rely on instruments for most of their approach. However, in the final stages of the landing procedure, they have to decide whether it's safe to land based on what they can see. The additional accuracy of the EGNOS LPV-200 service lowers the altitude at which the pilot has to make that decision to only 200 feet above the runway. The um, decision height's important because that allows more accessibility to airports in poorer weather conditions. So essentially, the lower the decision height, the better access that airport's going to have in poorer weather conditions. EGNOS reduces risks associated with landing in bad weather, increases accessibility to airports, reduces delays, diversions and cancellations. By increasing airspace capacity and lowering both air traffic control and pilot workload, EGNOS improves safety and increases efficiency of operations whilst lowering fuel consumption, CO2 emissions, and noise levels. The service requires no upgrade to an airport's ground infrastructure or to existing certified EGNOS receivers, and offers the same decision height as ILS Cat 1. Well, we started off with the, the basic LNAV approach, and that minimum was, it was 500 feet. An LPV using EGNOS brings it down to 250 to 300 feet here. When we get LPV 200, that will come down to 200 feet, so the aircraft can be a lot lower before it has to initiate a missed approach. LPV 200 will mean it's um, near enough identical to our Cat 1 ILS. The European GNSS Agency has worked continuously with aircraft manufacturers, airspace users, aviation authorities and airports to help integrate and adopt EGNOS. Every aviation uh, GPS receiver we sell today includes uh, EGNOS um, as part of its chipset. And in fact, I don't think we've sold a receiver for the last seven years that didn't include um, EGNOS capabilities. As of October 2015, 271 EGNOS-based procedures in 157 airports had been developed, and every month more airports are adopting EGNOS. I think there's a great future for this system because uh, it will uh, permit many airlines to operate in, in many airports that now don't have the proper facilities. Most navigation systems in aircraft and helicopters can now use EGNOS, including the new ATR600 series and the Airbus 350XWB, both of which offer EGNOS-enabled avionics. Furthermore, EGNOS is still improving. EGNOS version 3, which will integrate Galileo, is under development. And EGNOS will be extended across and possibly beyond Europe. Thanks to the LPV-200 service today and the future evolution of EGNOS, European aviation will become ever safer and increasingly efficient.